In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing one of the most popular condenser microphones used by musicians, music producers, and content creators, the Rode NT1. Welcome to the Home Studio Academy. My name is Nolan Freitas and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Rode NT1. I'll be showing you what comes with the microphone, some of its specs, and be doing audio samples of me talking, singing, playing guitar in order to help you decide if this is the right microphone for you. So the Rode NT1 currently retails at $229 at the time of shooting this video. And if you wanna buy the microphone after watching the review, I do have the link in the description below so you can go check it out. This microphone comes in a bundle and in the box you'll get the microphone, the shock mount, the pop shield and an XLR cable. Now let's go over some of the specs of the Rode NT1. This microphone has a cardioid polar pattern which means it primarily picks up sound from the front of the mic and then you will reject sound coming from the back of the microphone. Also, if you look in the frequency response graph, you can see that it has a very flat response, which means this is a neutral sounding microphone and it will represent whatever audio source you're trying to record truthfully without any enhancements. So now let's do some audio samples. Currently you've been hearing me through the lavalier mic underneath my shirt, but let's switch over to the computer so you can hear the Rode NT1 in action. All right, so now you're listening to me talk through the Rode NT1 condenser microphone. Hopefully you're able to hear the audio quality difference between my lavalier microphone and the Rode. And as you can see, I do not have any plugins engaged. This is just the dry vocal coming from the microphone being plugged straight into my Apollo interface. And this is what my voice sounds like. Now let's jump over into Logic Pro so you can hear an acoustic guitar track with singing vocals. the way that you move around between the sheets calling me out and by the time the sun goes down i've given you all my love yeah i like the way that you move around between the sheets calling me out and by the time the sun goes down, I've given you all my love, yeah. I like to watch you get undressed, the things you say once you're in my bed. And by the time we get to rest, I've given you all my love. I like the way that you move around between the So what are my final thoughts on this microphone? Starting out with the pros is the price. This microphone is priced extremely well and I think you get amazing value for $230. Also, I feel like Rode included everything that you need to get started. And if you were to buy other microphones in this price range, plus all of the accessories, it would definitely cost more than $230. The second pro and the most important is the sound. This microphone just sounds great. You can definitely get professional work done and I feel like it excels at recording vocals. In addition, it can be used to record other audio sources such as acoustic guitar, drums, piano, and even mic and guitar amplifiers. Now the cons, of course, this is subject to taste, but this microphone is a neutral sounding mic. So that means that your voice or your instrument is not just gonna pop out of the mix right off the bat. You will need to add a little bit of EQ and compression, which I always do to my mixes anyway, so to me it's not a big deal. But if you like a microphone with a more built-in, already polished sound, I would say this is maybe not the mic for you. In addition, even though you can get good results recording acoustic instruments, this is not my favorite microphone for micing acoustic guitar. I do believe that there are other mics in this price range that do a better job for that application, but when it comes to vocals, I think it still excels. Now, a question that I see again and again in the internet is, should you buy the Rode NT1, which is the black one, or should you buy the Rode NT1A, which is the silver one? In a nutshell, if you like a more vintage and neutral sound, go with the Rode NT1. If you like a more modern and brighter sounding mic, then go with the Rode NT1A. 
However, I do want to note that most of the comments I read in the internet state that people seem to favor the Rode NT1 because they claim that the Rode NT1A has too much of a top end boost which can sound harsh in some vocals. So who would I recommend this mic to? Honestly, anybody starting out with music production. Maybe you're a musician, a music producer, or a content creator. I think that if you have a $100 mic or a USB-C connection mic, or even just the built-in microphone on your phone or laptop, this will 100% boost the audio quality of your recordings. Also, I feel like if I was starting everything all over again, this would be the mic I would choose because I just feel like you get such an amazing value for $230. If you found this review helpful and are still planning to buy the microphone, I do have my affiliate link in the description below in case you want to support my channel. Also, if you want to check out the review I did of the Neumann TLM102 microphone and how to get started recording vocals, I'll be posting these videos here so you can go check them out. If you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.